Okay guys, this beautiful brisket we have here, this is my first time making a brisket, guys. I'm so excited, I'm so scared at the same time, this is crazy. I mean, I'm going to YouTube, man, I'm gonna find out good recommendations there, how to make a nice, beautiful, outstanding Texan brisket. I might change it a little bit, I don't know if I like everything, I have a little experience with a lot of other things, but never with brisket, so I'm gonna try to change it up a little bit and personalize it a little bit. So let's look for a good video. I'm not gonna tell you guys because I don't know I want to be penalized by YouTube, but I'm gonna look for a good video here that will walk us through. I mean, it's gonna be an expert. I'm gonna look for somebody that is an expert doing these things. So let's look for somebody and let's follow up. Well guys, I found this video and the first thing that they recommend us to do is to trim it up a lot. Vamos a bailar. So they say that what we have to do is we have to have about 40% salt. Let's put a little bit of salt in here. And then 60% is gonna be pepper. And again, pepper is gonna be a lot of pepper. And I have a lot of pepper here for it. They say to put a little bit of garlic powder, not too much. Cayenne pepper is just a little bit too. Not too much. There we go. Now we mix this up. So this is more or less the mix. Now let's add this into our beautiful brisket. All right, so we made our mix here, our rub, and we're gonna put this rub right on top of this. And as a binder, I'm not gonna use what they recommend. I'm gonna use our mustard because we already tested that and we know that it works. So let me get the mustard, put it on top of this, and then we put a rub. By the way, the one that they recommend is just oil. I'm gonna use mustard because we tried and it worked. So let's put our mustard on it and let's put a rub on it. Give it a nice coat of rub all the way across oh bro i think this one is going to be good you know if he they say that if it's too much make sure you move it around don't don't get it don't put too much just going to make sure that everything have a nice coat of rub everywhere Miss Ninja is asking if that's not too much pepper, and I don't know. I never done it. That's what they say, so we go by the experts, Miss Ninja. Okay. Those are the ones that know. Those guys, they do like 300 of this a week, so. <laughs> <laughs> now it's time to put it in the fridge, give it some time, and then we're going into the smoker, baby, which is the best part. Let's go. Good morning, here we are with a beautiful Z grill. We're gonna use the pellet grill today, guys, because I want that brisket to come out as perfect as possible. And we're gonna start lighting this thing up. It's six in the morning right now. We should be ready to go within 10, 12 hours. So, let's go. <laughs> Up, 
I don't know if this is good information or not, but apparently something happening here and the fuse just blew up. So this is the fuse, it goes into that box and I have a new fuse in here that we're gonna add into it. So all you have to do is push this guy out, take him out, put the new one in. All right, and just put it back in the box. So if you guys have one of these guys, now you know how to change the fuse. Now, let's see. There you go, baby. We're back in business. It is 2 p.m. and our brisket hit 160 degrees. When the brisket hit 160 degrees, it's recommended to take it out from the grill and wrap it up in aluminum foil. The reason why this is done is because after 160 degrees, the brisket is not going to take any more small flavor and what we really want to do is to create those juices inside and tenderize the meat as much as possible. So that was easy enough. I mean, all we have to do now is wave a little bit until it hit about 200 degrees and it should be ready to go. As you can see, it's already jiggling. The spices are stuck in there. They are not falling off. That's one of the things they say you should look at. And it's looking amazing. The, everything, the, the, the rub is really well into it. The color of the rub is perfect. I'm loving this thing, guys. Let's continue. The smell is amazing. And this is looking really good. Now we're just gonna poke it. Oh, man. It's going all the way down. This is what they say. It should be like butter. So I think this baby is ready. It's time to take it out and put it on the cooler. Let's take him out. All right, we put that baby up in the cooler. Now it's time to wait, guys. I think it's gonna take about two hours. I'm gonna give you about two hours. And let's cut this baby up and see what happened. I'm so anxious. I, I'm a little stressed, you know? I don't know exactly what I'm gonna get out of this one, but I think it's, it's looking good. I mean, we follow all the steps that everybody recommends, and I think we are on the safe side. It's time to open this baby up and see what happened. The, oh, bro. Look at this beauty. Oh, man. That's like butter. Oh, brother. What do you think, brother? That look delicious, isn't it? <laughs> Let's cut this baby up. Look at those uses. Full flavor and so tender. I can eat the whole thing. Mmm. <laughs> Beautiful. Awesome. You like it? I love it. Awesome. I, I've been waiting for this moment since like 8 a.m. today. <laughs> I'm in fasting right now, so it's my first meal. And I love brisket. I loved it. Oh, brother, you're gonna have fun there. Salty, I love it. Soft, delicious. Delicious. Yeah. <laughs> All right, we have Brianna on the house. Let's see, let's see if she like it. Oh, she's going for the big, ah. Oh. Tastes a little bit like ham. Juicy. Juicy. Soft. Mm -hmm. It's beefy, you feel the beef flavor? It just tastes like ham. Just like ham? Yeah. All right. <laughs> wait a minute, wait a minute, what are you talking about? Let me interrupt you here. Uh oh, uh oh. I'm gonna do this again. Because uh oh. Look at this. Mmm. Oh. He's a meat lover. <laughs> meat lover, huh? This is excellent. Oh. Right, Miss Ninja and Janice, we're gonna try it today. Come on, my friend. We have a new guest here, guys, and we're gonna try this. This looks just beautiful. So, can I dig in? Yes, go for it. 
Let's go. Let's give it a try. Oh, you already cut a piece for us? Oh my God, you don't need a knife. Yeah. <laughs> It's super juicy. Super juicy. Super tender. Super tender. Very flavorful. Very flavorful. I love the bark. Ninja, you did it. I will never go to another restaurant again. <laughs> <laughs> you guys heard that? So? Permanent, permanent guest. There we go. <laughs> okay, guys, it's time for me to give it a try. I haven't given it a try yet. But I've seen everybody loving it, so it's only a matter of time. Wow, bro. Hmm. I see what Brianna say about the ham. The ham. It has a little hint, it, 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 like a ham a little bit. But it's so good. It's so tender. Juicy. Hmm. This is real good stuff, guys. This is my first time with the brisket. Can we do better than this? I maybe don't know yes. About that. Maybe yes, maybe not. I'm gonna come out with something, and we're gonna make a few more and see what happened, guys. This is excellent. Excellent, it's really yeah, good. Me, it's and I, what I did is I followed through, you know, a few YouTube uh, videos that explain how to do everything, and that's what I did with this one. This is my first time doing it, but it came out amazing. The flavors on this thing, the tenderness on this thing is amazing. And it, as you can see, it's full of juices, and it's really good. Guys, that was an amazing brisket. It was. What are we going to do? The guests didn't leave anything. They ate it all. Nothing was left. Nothing. And that's a good thing. <laughs> but we have a shout out here for you guys. This spot is getting bigger and bigger. Okay. So, <laughs> Whose turn is it? I think it's your turn. It's my turn? Yeah. <sighs> Let me move it around really well for you guys. There we go. Let's see who it is. It is... Who is it? Oh my god! Green, Green Master, Master Mike. Mike! Yeah, what's up, Mike. Master Mike? Shout out to you, my dear. No brisket. I'm please. sorry, <laughs> Master Mike. But you're in our table. That's the most important thing, right? I'm gonna make one for you, bro. Don't worry about it. Yes. You come over here, you try it with us, and it's gonna be awesome, man. Oh, yes. Green Master Mike, thank you so much for all the support you have given us in all this time, man, and we really appreciate it. Thank you to everybody that leaves the comments on there. I know you guys care. Thank you for the likes. Thank you for everything. Thank you for the unlikes, too. That's okay. <laughs> That's okay. I of mean, course. It's completely normal. Yes, it is. And I should say that that brisket was delicious, brother. Yes, Everybody it was. ate it. Nothing yes. was left. Okay. Um, Mr. George is going crazy. Mr. George. He didn't got anything, the poor fellow. They ate it all, bro. <laughs> Nothing for Georgie. So that's all for today, guys. If you like it, please hit us with a like. Lots of likes. And if you want to be in the chat or chair, make sure you put your name down below. And if you have anything to complain about, whatever, just put it in the comments. And don't forget to subscribe. And hit the bell, 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 so you will get notified every Tuesdays and Fridays when we'll upload our new videos. Subscribe, man. Yes. All that is good, but remember that. I love you. I love you too. Vamos a bailar.